time of week. Fire it up, baby. Christopher Mad Dog Russo, of course, has something that has him fired up. Chris. We have a lot to do. The I don't have a third. Yours. I don't have. I got you don't a need light order. You don't need today. it. You don't need it. You have us. You oh, well, that's important. You don't need but where is Kimberly, JJ, Marcus? I need. Anyway, here we go. All right, we got three good ones today. I don't know about you, and I understand they wanted Caitlin Clark to get to the championship game, but boy, oh boy, did that call drive me crazy on Friday night. That offensive screen foul call. Yes. You cannot call this with the season on the line. You're right. It's nine seconds to go in the game. It's 70 to 69. This is a game seven of an NBA. And you call that offensive foul there and end the game? Oh, my God. I understand I live in Connecticut. And I had to hear all the Connecticut fans moan and groan. Molly not happy about it either. I understand that. Maybe a little biased. But that call cannot be made. I was trying to rock my brain. Yeah. I can't remember ever. And I've been watching the NBA Finals since 1968. I can't remember ever where I saw an elimination game end on a possession because an official caught an illegal block with a team down by one with the ball. That call was awful. A terrible, ridiculous call. You don't end seasons on plays like that. That's number one. And speaking of UConn, if anybody out there at Kentucky, and this is a double whammy, oh, if anybody out there at Kentucky, there's Ori Emma behind me, thinks that Danny Hurley is going to have these one back-to-back championships, is going to go to Lexington to deal with that mob that's the next, that Kentucky fan base when he's already won two championships, think again. Kentucky's got no chance to get Hurley. But back to UConn women. They got royally, royally, I'm not going to use the word, burned on Friday night. That's number one. Let's just hug it out. Let's hug it out. Oh, Ooh, baby. you're the best. You're, you're the part, best. Part two, part two about him not going to Kentucky. You're absolutely right. Danny Hurley, he doesn't be, want to go to Kentucky. Of, no, please, stay right Fuck in store. That's number one. That's number one. Kentucky isn't what they used to be. That's number one. Number two, and most importantly, you're right in terms of I was disgusted with only indicates go ask the Japanese media that he took pictures with the fan lying about something this innocuous that's an investigation in the betting on baseball that's what we're talking about I, that's what we were talking about weeks ago in other words of course they were yeah, saying it had nothing to do with baseball it but it was a be question because people weren't necessarily believing it so just weeks He's removed just so just like, yeah. weeks removed from that to lie about something this innocuous yeah if you're willing to lie about that how honest at what level of veracity do you do you do you entertain on something so far more serious? I'm last, just wondering. I one last thing: what he could have done. Say he really wanted it. His first home run is a dollar. Right, a hundred thousand dollar check. But that's what I'm saying. You keep it, and then you do something for the couple. You do some type of gesture, whatever something. it is, monetary. Give them, you know, front row seats, oh, whatever. Don't make crazy. Kind of, yeah. And give Plasky the LA Times credit. Well, he's one of the best can. columnists in America. Give him credit because yep. he's the one who made this, the, and then the Athletic jumped on the it. Voice, so both of them. The give voice, the voice of LA, him and Jim Hill. Yep. Good job. Okay. That was number. That really bothered yes. me. That's a rotten thing to do to some poor couple there with a the, That really separating them. I, I mean, am I right? Or right? So you guys agree? Right. right. That's totally. Three. All right. Let's have some fun now with number three. Okay. Okay. I hoped it rained like the Dickens a couple of days ago on Monday. The last thing I wanted to get wrapped up in is that stupid sky with that dopey moon and that dopey sun. <laughs> I got the dopey glasses. You know, I put the glasses on and looked up. What a what a disaster! And how about the poor fan? Think about this for a second. We had Americans. They's me. And oh, look at you! What a joke that is. We had Americans who traveled around the country, Buffalo, Cleveland, and spent twelve hundred dollars when hotels are gouging them for rooms to see the moon over the sun for a couple of minutes. You gotta have something more important due to that. You have. Go outside, get a glasses, look at it for ten seconds, and come back inside. Isn't the it? Dope, that's me. Okay. But I was in my garage. I went outside and put the dopey glasses on. I swam away. And what did you that's think? That's the end of it. Were you moved? But it was interesting for a second. I wouldn't travel to Buffalo, Cleveland, Fort Worth, Texas. It starts at May. Who cares? They move back baseball games to accommodate this. How dare they move back opening day? They move back the Guardians game to show the stupid sun and the moon. Nobody in America cares. Number three. 
Well, first of all, you got to have those glasses on to protect your eyes. So it's perfectly understandable why they would delay some baseball games because you don't want to look up to the sky because it'd be damaging. That's number one. This looks number like two. a model number pose two. right no, now. Number two. Cover number shot? two. Number two. I was outside of my studio. Oh. All right, and I went outside of my studio was this to for look GQ at. This magazine. No, it wasn't. But that's what I was wearing the day I did my show, which mm -hmm. was Monday. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at this and. My, my daughters insisted that I watch. So daddy went out there to watch because my daughters told me to. And it was a nice experience. But how about the people who actually spent the fortune to travel 300 miles yes, to watch they're, something they're, like they're, this? They're addicted to nature. But it's stupid. Oh, it's <laughs> stupid. Come on. Don't they're do They're addicted that. to nature. Put, don't make the money to a charity. What money? Here you. The, well, I mean, twelve hundred dollars to stay in a hotel to see the uh, moon over the sun for twenty minutes. Let's clearly, see, they, not that clearly they could you afford it. You see gummies in bed with Fat Rob on your couch. People might think that's stupid. Some people want to look at celestial things. And by the but way, and live. by the way, they spent their money on what they wanted to spend yeah. it on. You spent your money to lose it. Yeah. When yeah. you gamble it all yeah, the time. Yeah, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Which is more ridiculous. I did well this weekend. Well, right. hopefully a better bet on ESPN. I don't know those, those are, those are three good ones. I this is your best in a long time. Three good ones. Really brought you down.